All right, I really didn't uh, go very far to find something to draw for my plein air drawing. I'm just in my backyard. I've got this nice uh, pink bush, really tall tree. It's pretty cool clouds, you know, going in behind there and the mountains in the background. It's really quite pretty right there. Um, actually, you know, my neighbors have this wood pile. It's in their backyard and my backyard and I don't really like the wood pile, but visually it's there's some kind of cool things that if I really cropped in on it, especially there's some really nice shapes in there. Um, great place for mice to live, by the way. I do like looking across my neighbor's backyards to those trees. I really like the rock formations down below and the nice big triangular shape that the trees make. Uh, panning around. <clears throat> You know, there's other things that just visually aren't very interesting. Very nice mountain range, the Wasatch Mountains over there. But that's a little too big and grand. I want something a little bit smaller and easier. I do have over here a tree that has a couple bird feeders that um, I really like the light and dark patterns that are in that tree that are made from the light, you know, coming through the branches. So if I was an Impressionist, I think this would be my subject matter. So what I have here, I've got just a little chair to sit in. And I've got my drawing supplies, my clipboard with a piece of paper, just a copy paper from the copy machine, a pencil, eraser sharpener, and I'm ready to go. So I've chosen this spot because I really quite like the shapes that are made from the branches of the tree that really kind of um, create a, um, a little bit of a frame, a triangular shape that go around that uh, bird feeder. And the fence in the background isn't too bad either. I think I'll leave out the tree that's in the background, this tree back here. I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave out that little tree there and just do the fence and the bird feeder and the tree that the bird feeder is hanging on. So to get started, I'm going to block in some basic shapes. So you can kind of get an idea of, um, especially this diagonal, and then this diagonal, and my focal point. I might even, I might even draw it so I'm a little closer to my focal point, kind of like that. But I'm gonna back this up here so that you can see how I'm gonna get started on my paper. So, as I said, I'm going to start with this diagonal of the branch, big heavy branch. I'm going to kind of block in the shapes of my bird feeder. It's just an oval looking up at that oval, and then a cylinder. Looking up at that cylinder. Wind's starting to blow here a little bit, so it's making it a little bit more difficult to draw, especially drawing with one hand. I'm trying to film with one hand and draw with the other. Then I've got this other branch going up behind here too, which I really quite like, because that helps to complete of my triangular pattern. So one of the, the um, struggles we have drawing outside is dealing with weather and dealing with bugs. I had some wasps on my chair earlier so I had to get rid of those guys. Um, so I will generally start my drawing outside or my watercolor if I'm doing a painting. And then I'll get everything drawn and blocked in because it's a lot easier to see the details that I want when I'm outside looking at the object rather than um, just trying to work off of a little photograph. So anyway, that's I'm going to turn the camera off now. You can see how I've got things started. I'm going to sit here and draw for about an hour and really try to get the drawing down really well and probably start adding some shading. And then I'll show you a picture at the end.